Hi everyone, <laughs> I'm banging away your bed. So this is the uh, first vid for the second letter of the functions pack and it has to do with composite functions. So the idea is that I put one function inside another. So it says here when two or more functions are combined, the range of the first function becomes a domain of the second function. Right, so here's my idea. Here's my, my domain of the first function. That will give me a range for the first function. But what I'm saying is that I put these values into another function. So it actually becomes the domain of the second function. And then I get a range of the composite function. So I get some x values, I put it into an equation, it gives me y values out. I put those y values into a different equation and it gives me an answer out. So if you look 1, if I use x squared it becomes 1. And then if I put that number into 4x minus 1, it gives me 3. So 2, if I put that in, it gives me 4. If I put 4 into 4x minus 1, it gives me 15. If I put 3 into x squared, it gives me 9. If I put 9 into 4x minus 1, uh, so it's going to give me 35, I think. And then if I put 4 in, I get a 16 out. So that's 16, 32, 64, so that must be 63. So I put an x value in, it gives me a y value out. But I use this y value as my x value into another function. And I get out the y values for both. But it's got to kind of work for it. So that's going to be 99, that one, isn't it? There. So that's kind of like the mapping to show you that I put an x value in, it gives me a y value out, but then I use that y value as the x value for the other one, and the, uh, for the other function, and then that gives me the y value for the combined function. So it says f is applied first, and then g, there. So that would be g of f, the, the second letter is the one that goes first. So it's like g of f. Um, so the function f is applied to x, then g is applied to f of x to determine that. So that's the idea that I put x in, I get f of x out, but I use that as my x value for the next bit. So I get a combined function that I write to g f of x. So what I've done is, so I know that f of x is x squared. I know g of x is 4x minus 1. So g f of x says I replace the x in here with that. So this one there, because that's the, the second letter, the f, it goes in there. So I get four lots of x squared minus 1. So I've got 4x squared minus 1. Don't make a lot of sense now, we've got quite a few more down there to practice. But we can replace the x in g with f of x. It'll make sense as you do it more. Um, so g f of x or g f means I do f first, so I stick f into g. F of G means I do G first, and I stick G into F. F G of H means I do H first, stick it in G, then stick that answer into F. That's the idea behind it. Right, so let's have a look at these then. So F G of F. I've got to put G into F. So my f is 5 minus 2 lots of, I'm sticking g into it, which is x squared. So I get 5 minus 2x squared. So you've got one here, which is f of g. So you're sticking f into g. So wherever you see a, an x in g, you replace it with 
5 minus 2x there. So it was an x squared, and I put the 5 minus 2x in it. Let's have a look at this up. So f squared is actually f of f. So I'm going to put f into f. So I've got a 5 minus 2. I replace the x with 5 minus 2x. So I'm putting the f of x into it. So what's that going to give me? 5 minus 10 is minus 5 plus 4x. So I guess 4x minus 5 is better, isn't it? Yeah, for f of f of x. So this one's h of h. So I've got a 1 over x, and then I replace the x with 1 over x. So can you see? So I had 1 over x, and I replace the x with 1 over x, which gives me x. One more here, g f of h. So I've got to break it down bit by bit. Okay. So f of h, have I done f of h? I haven't. That's putting a h into f. So I've got 5 minus 2 lots of 1 over x. So f of h is 5 minus 2 over x. Now that is going to get put into g now. So I've got g f of h. So the x in g gets replaced by 5 minus 2 over x. Squared there. You don't need to expand a lot of these. So I would do, with this one, do hg first and then put the answer into f. So they kind of do it all in one go. So putting g into h gives me 1 over x squared. So that bit there is h g of x. And then I replace the x in f with it. And that's what it gives me there. It's amazing. So we'll come next page. Oh, There's more examples. Well, we're on the one seven minutes, aren't I? I'll stop the video.